Bible says, I will not die, but to live and declare the glory of God in the land of the living. You are the one that will claim every good thing for yourself. If they say there is going to be doom, say that is not concise you. That is not your own. Like when Jesus Christ in our life, we become nothing. We become nothing. No Jesus, no anything in our life. And whatever we have, whatever power we have, whatever authority we have today is because Jesus lives in us. Today, I speak with authority of the Holy Spirit that in the name of Jesus, you will be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus. Yahweh, your name is Yahweh, Yahweh, your name is Yahweh, you are the miracle walking God, your name is Yahweh, you are the miracle walking God, your name is Yahweh. Yahweh, your name is Yahweh. Yahweh, your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. He reigns in heaven and he reigns on earth. He reigns in heaven and he reigns on earth. In his kingdom, no partiality. In his kingdom, no partiality. Come and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come and put your hands together. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah, away. Your name is Yah, away. Yahweh. Your name is Yah, away. You are the miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. Olorun mi ajagun ba ni shegun ogbigba ti gbeda ayo mo re lo fe. Ababa nba Ababa mbubu, olorun me, buri buri aye, abogun we shumale. Bamu bamu bamu, olorun orun, alorun base, pari pari ola, adade o tito, adade o dodo, deru deru bodo, mo yika otun, mo yika osi, foba ashe kamati, olorun wa koko, todo ni re iran, iran a koko, odori ekeji, ori eketa, ire ekeri, odori re karun, e karun ikefa, Odo ni re keje, i re kejo. Ade ra kesa, olor umbe, i ke wambo. Be ni kuku, agbo koja ubo, alaso ibura, toje ina funfun. Agba meri li logun, wambe lorun, agba la akbe wang. Watu ngule, feni toje agba lor, eda meri unko, kini wanshe, mima ni wanko. Mima, 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 lor un warun, obato funfun nene, mutu bafun ho. O kukuro, ni tori mi, ba mi ba mi ba mi, olorun mi, agba ni dani lari, oluwo unwo, oluwo ti unwo wa, wo mi mako, wo mi marun, wo mi kinye, ala fi yorun, are yorun agba. Ah, Yahweh, your name is Yahweh, you are the miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. Yeah, you what? Praising God throughout this program today. I welcome you to our program, My Moment of Positive Change. Uh, you know, I have a message for you from the Lord that this month is my month of good news. It's your month of good news. I want you to key into it. And prophesize it and confess it with your mouth that this month of June is my month of good news. Good news all around, good news at home, good news at work, good news at church, even when you are driving, good news when you receive call, it will be good news in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you once again for giving us opportunity to be here this this 
day again, whatever time they are listening to this program. We appreciate you since January to this time. It could be only you, not because we are holy, not because we are pure, just by your grace. Your grace sustain us. We are alive today. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, we want to enjoy the blessings of your presence once again. Lord God Almighty, come down and come and listen to us. Come and hear our request. Come and hear our prayer. Lord, even as we are confessing it, that this man is our month of good news. Bring it to pass in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's program is going to be a prayer program. Are you ready to pray? You know, when you want a positive change in your life, you must be ready to pray. God say, ask, and it shall be given unto you. Many people thought that at least, at least God know what I'm passing through. You know my problem. Do I need to ask him? He is the one that instructed us. He said, ask, and it shall be given unto you unto you. You know, it's always good. God loves obedient children. When you obey him, he will do whatever you want him to do. He has commanded us, ask and it shall be given unto you. Now, let's start from the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 26. Verse 26, verse 36, and verse 37. You know, let's see this month of June. This is six month. And in the six months, the angel Gabriel was sent from the Lord unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. Verse 36. Let's go to verse 36. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she had also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the six months with her, who was called barren. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Your home will not be impossible this month in the mighty name of Jesus. The month of June, God sent angel Gabriel to marry the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ. He gave her the good news. The good news that the whole world is enjoying it today. And we shall be enjoying it till eternity. So we want to claim this this blessing into our life. You know, when you want to pray concerning the uh, Luke chapter 1 verse 26, we should also first remember the work of the sixth day. We want to pray for the faithful, for the blessing of the sixth man. Let's settle the work of sixth day. The work of sixth day is in Genesis chapter 1 for the same verse 26 to 31. Verse 26 to 31. What are the work of the sixth day? That is Genesis chapter 1. From verse 26 to 31. The work of six days is man. God created man. He created man on the sixth day. So we have to settle that first. So please help me go to Genesis chapter 1. Verse 26 to 31. Verse 26 to 31. Then we will use that to pray. And our prayer point will be coming from that. Listen. He said, and God said, let us make man in our image. That's the work of sixth day. After our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the heart, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the heart. Verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. 28. And God said, and, and God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the heart and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowls of the air, and over every living thing that moved upon the earth. Verse 29. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of, the, of all the earth, and every tree in the, in the which is the fruit of a, or a tree, yielding seed to you, it shall be for meat. 
verse 30, and to every beast of the heart, and to every fowls of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the heart, wherein there is life. I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. Verse 31. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And evening and morning were the sixth day. God created man on the sixth day. If we want to enjoy the blessings of the sixth month, let us settle the work of the sixth day. The work of the sixth day. You know, what are the work of the sixth day? You know, when God created us, he gave us dominion. He blessed us to be fruitful, to replenish the heart. And he gave us power to have dominion over everything. Before we were created, he has made everything available for us. All what we needed, money, foods, fruit, seed, everything. And he gave us power to have dominion over the fishes in the oceans, animals in the bush, vow, I mean, even the bed on the air. We can command them and say, you bed, come here. And they will listen. They will not disobey us. When lion comes, we ask lion to sit down. And lion will sit down. But suddenly, man misbehave by enter into a covenant that against the covenant of God. Then man become nothing. The glory of God disappear. That is reason why we need to say to that. We need to say to that. And many things that happen to you as you sit down, as you are hearing me, whatever you are passing through, he has the hands of men inside. It is because men has inside. Let me tell you, evil spirit cannot operate on his own without possessing human being. Like Holy Spirit too. Holy Spirit operates through human being. When the Holy Spirit fills your life, you'll be able to minister to people. Likewise, demons. So therefore, we need to settle that. The first thing we are going to pray is this. That, you know, you lay your right hand on your head. Let me tell you something about human being. I didn't, God make us so good, so beautiful, created us in his own image. But the moment we allow Satan to come sin, even begin to come sin, begin to plan evil, doing this, doing that. You know the first, the firstborn, uh, Cain, what did he do? Because his brother did good, he killed him. You know, I remember we were conducting deliverance to, his, to one teenager, and he said, uh, uh, he was uh, in the, all these occultic uh, uh, forces. He said that every night, his own group, they will come, they will put something like powder under her bed. He said when they brought that thing, nobody in the house will wake up. And his, his, our whole duty is to take that powder, just to go out, and begin to pour it on the people that have already slept. He said, those people that he will pour it upon their head, they will not be able to, to wake up again. They are dead. Some, their destiny has been tampered with. Some, their glory has been snatched away. So therefore, you are going to lay your right hands on your head. Say, oh Lord, every evil that men have done against my destiny, in the name of Jesus, be destroyed and be flushed out of my life. Every evil that enemy have deposited in my life, in my destiny, in my system, that is affecting my glory, that is affecting my, my lifting, in the name of Jesus, be destroyed right now and be flushed out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Turn it to prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, whatsoever that human being have used their manipulation power to deposit it into my destiny that is affecting my life in the name of Jesus, I command them to be destroyed and be flushed out of my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Write those prayer points down. On your own, you can still pray, pray the prayer because we have a very limited time here. Now, the prayer number two is that on the, this month of, uh, of June, Angel Gabriel was sent to Mary 
and he located her and delivered the good news unto her. You are going to pray. Say, Oh Lord, in this six months, let my angels of good news locate me. Turn it to prayer. In this, in this six months, Father, let the angels of my good news locate me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, in this month of June, let the angels of my good news locate me. Let my own gay bread locate me in the mighty name of Jesus and deliver my good news unto me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Number three, you are going to pray, you know, when men enter into that covenant with a snake in the Garden of Eden, since then, people, women beings don't supposed to die at all. Since that time, death came in, diseases came in, many other things came in. We begin to struggle before we make it. We have to work, work, and labor so hard before we can make it. You are going to pray, say, oh Lord, whatever, whatever covenant in my life that is working against the manifestations of my glory, destroy them now. Destroy them now. Whatever covenant, you know, there are various ways in which covenant enter into the human being's life. Many people enter into a covenant consciously, unconsciously. At times you sleep, when you are when you are in the sleep, when you are sleeping, you don't know you can't have the power of control except the Holy Spirit empower you at that moment. That is if you are in the law. Brethren, every covenant that is in my life, there's some covenant that, that you were written. Even from your family, from your father's house, from your mother's house, that is affecting your destiny. You are going to say, oh Lord, every covenant that is affecting my life, that is affecting my glory, that is affecting my, delay my good news, Holy Ghost, destroy them. Break that covenant by the powerful blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You are going to pray once again. Say, oh Lord, in this month of June, let the world see your glory in my life. Let the world see your glory in the life of my children. Let the world see your glory in my ministry. Let the world see your glory in my home, in my marital life. Let the world see your glory. That glory that has been in hidden in my life. Father, shine your glory upon my star and let my star rise and shine. Shine your, your glory upon me and let me rise in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of uh, uh, Isaiah, he said, I will arise. I will shine. This is my month that I will shine. I will arise in the name of Jesus. Confess that to yourself. Number five, you are going to say, oh Lord, the day you created man, you bless him to multiply and be fruitful. Let my life be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Let my life be fruitful. Let the life of my children be fruitful. Let my business be, proof, be fruitful. Let my ministry be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus. Turn it to prayer. Number C, you are going to say, oh Lord, my life must not be barren. My children must not be barren. My home must not be barren. My business must not be barren. My ministry must not be barren. I shall be fruitful. I will be fruitful and multiplies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number seven, you are going to say, oh Lord, the day you created man, you gave him power all, over all what you have created to have dominion over them. You are going to say, oh Lord, the virtue of my dominion that have been lost to the hands of enemy, restore them back to me. The virtue of my dominion, the virtue of my power to make way that enemy have stolen away in the name of Jesus. Let them be restored back to me today. Some people have lost that virtue, virtue to have success, virtue to have dominion. You know, somebody like children of Skepha, they want to they command the demon. Demon, go out. That virtue was not there. They don't have that virtue. But somebody like Paul, somebody like Peter, that virtue was there. Holy Spirit, release upon my life. Virtue to make it. Virtue to, 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 to do wonders in the mighty name of Jesus. Virtue to have dominion over demons. Virtue to do, have dominion over everything that you have created in the mighty name of Jesus. Number, number nine. You are going to say, oh no, oh no, power to make way. Command it upon my life. You must have power to make way. When you go to Genesis chapter 39, you see when the Bible says, and Joseph was a prosperous man, God had created that prosperity into his system. Whatever he lays his hands upon must be prosper. In his, even he was a slave in a strange land. Whatever he did, always prosper in his hand. You are going to pray. 
power to make wet, anointed to make wet, anointed to prosper in life. Father, release it upon my life, and it shall be so in the name of Jesus. Number 10, you are going to say, Oh Lord, as someone you have created in your image, fit me with the right food and quality food in the name of Jesus in my life. Don't let me eat bread of sorrow in the name of Jesus. Over my children, I will not eat bread of sorrow. Father, give me right food, quality food, food of joy, food of prosperity. My life will not be eaten the food of sickness, food of diseases. That will not be my portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Number 11, you are going to say, Oh Lord, every evil that men have done against my, my destiny, destroy them all and flush them out of my life. We have prayed that one and he has already, we are repeating it again. Wish me that prayer is very important. Pray it very well. Number 12, Oh Lord, in this month of June, let me receive good news in every areas of my life. Let me receive good news over my children, over my academic, over my paper. Let me receive good news, even from the government. Father, give me good news. We are don't even expect good news. This man, let me receive good news. Let good news begin to flow here from right, from the front, from the my back, from the south, from the east. Let good news come to me in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, there's one Yoruba song. I will sing that song. Oni oni ishe gulo kumi kute mi yo mako. Oni ishe gulo kumi kute mi yo mako. E mi le ni ta ye ti ro wikpe o ti ta afu. E du ma re so kwa si tun kuke mi ma bo kaje. Oni ishe gulo kumi kute mi yo mako. Oni ishe gulo kumi kute mi yo mako. E mi le ni ta ye ti ro wikpe o ti ta afu. E du ma re so kwa si tun kuke mi ma bo kaje. Oni ishe gulo kumi kute Tell me your mark. He said it's only songs of victory that mean that I'll be singing throughout the days of my life. People have written you off. They have said you will not become somebody. But God is saying that this man, you will receive a good news. You will become somebody. The Lord will take you to the top and classify you among the greatest in the mighty name of Jesus. Number 13, you are going to say, Oh Lord, this month of June, let my destiny help her locate me. The destiny help her of of Mary, the, the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, located her. Father, let my destiny help her locate me. Let the destiny help her of my children locate them in this particular month in the name of Jesus. Number 14, you are going to say, Oh Lord, let there be overflows of good news and successes from for me, this month in the mighty name of Jesus, let there be overflow, overflow of good news here and there. I call you called by the Lord to no secure my woman. What kill your my re bukuri or woe you are she yori. He will do a rea tia. No could you make up be a basin so that mama win contract millions. You another pair, another pair. Oh, yeah, oh, my remember to do be more. Oh, my, oh, I be a little cow. Eh, I to say, I call you a fresh. I want to call you called by the name. I want to catch your day clear and you know, swing here. Why it's your she. Adua rema agba. Ninu osui. Wajari si agba olorun. Fast number 15. You are going to say, Oh Lord, let all my good investment bring, begin to yield result. Good result in this month. Every, in every good thing that you are invested. It might not be in time of money. It might be that you have helped somebody good. I say good one. That you are, maybe you are praying for somebody or you have evangelized somewhere or you have done good thing. Those invest, those are the investment. They will begin to yield interest in your life, in your ministry, in your business. You have labored so much on that business. You have printed and built. You have printed business card. You have do an advert. Yet, you didn't see anything but this man is man that you resolve we begin to flow him in the mighty name of Jesus. Finally, number 16, you are going to say, Let there be showers of blessing upon my dry land in this month of June. Let there be showers of blessing. You must see the miracle hands of God this month in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that this month of June will be your month of testimonies, your month of good news in the mighty name of Jesus. Your destiny ever will locate you. I decree and declare that this man, as you be going out, anywhere you go, you will go and make it. You will go and succeed. You will go and be faithful in the mighty name of Jesus. 
prince, the king, the prince, the prince, even the governor, the president of a, of a nation will come and serve you in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. My name is Pastor Adekunle Stephen Adedeji, popularly known as Kunle Omalafiorum, from the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Fountain of Power, Holy Swagbara, English Sokyo Ruba Parish, located at number 11965, Bisona Street, Suite 106E, Houston, Texas, 77099. Worship with us. Every Sunday we start our program with Sunday School by 9.30. Join on this coming Sunday, and you'll be richly blessed. We we'll always be on Zoom on Tuesday for Bible study. You come and join us, and every last after, last Tuesday of of uh, our Bible study, we always have special program for all the youth and the parents. So you, because we need to minister to our youth too, join us. Call my number so that we give you the link plus one two eight one. 857-3658. This month is your month of good news in the mighty name of Jesus. Go and make it this month. Go and succeed this month. Go and receive your testimony. All the prayer you have been praying since January. This is the time that you begin to affect them. You have you will affect in this month of June in the mighty name of Jesus. You will succeed. You will call me and say. Pastor, I have a testimony. This is man that you will give your own testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't write yourself off. This is your time. Your time has come. Your prayer has been answered. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Jesus is Lord. The Bible says, I will not die but to live and declare the glory of God in the land of the living. You are the one that will claim every good thing for yourself. If they say there is going to be doom, say that is not concise you. That is not your own. My man, Jesus Christ in our life, we become nothing. We become nothing. No Jesus, no anything in our life. And whatever we have, whatever power we have, whatever authority we have today, is because Jesus lives in us. Today, I speak with authority of the Holy Spirit that in the name of Jesus you will be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs>